why I'm here together with you today. This is the reason why Liberal International will always be here with you and this is why we are so proud to work with our partners including the Friedrich Naumann Foundation and the Liberal parties in the country. I would like to in particular thank the President of the Democratic Front Party for this uh, wonderful interpretation. You made me really a great honor. <laughs> but uh, if I can start by making a personal confession, the history and my affiliation to Egypt does not go as far as Alexander the Great. Uh, it does actually, when I arrived first thing at, uh, at, the, at the airport, the first thing that I saw was the Arabic inscription. And I do have at my home the legacy of my great-grandfather who was a businessman from Macedonia who was doing trades throughout the Ottoman Empire and his signs, his inscriptions are also in Arabic and they stand in my home. So this was the first wonderful thing that I, that I saw. And uh, the second thing that uh, I have actually not even shared to my close friend Dr. Manados is that uh, my father basically grew up in the Middle East. He lived in Beirut, but he lived in al and in Cairo. And he has actually started his primary school here. Uh, so he has been full of stories throughout his life about uh, his connection and attachment to this region, which I have inherited, and I'm really proud and, and happy to be here among you today. Most of the friends that, uh, that know me, they know that I'm very much addicted to Facebook. I can imagine many of you know what Facebook is. Yes. And uh, on Facebook I always update my status how I feel and what I believe in and what is the most interesting thing that happened to me in the day. But if you open my Facebook, I have clearly written over there, I'm in Cairo, Egypt, feels like home. So uh, thank you very much for, for turning in such a large number at uh, this important event and again thanks for, for the hosting and orga organizing it. I'm absolutely delighted that I have a chance to represent Liberal International to you tonight. Normally, when, when I speak about Liberal International, I first start saying how proud we are with our history, that Liberal International was founded in 1947. But then, I feel a little bit embarrassed to speak in his, about history and the tradition here in Egypt, because speaking about something that was started in 1947, only 61 years, 62 years ago, you would look at me and you were telling me, you would tell me immediately that I'm facing somebody who represents 7,000 years of uh, culture, of history, of heritage that has been given to the rest of the world. But in political sense, indeed, a liberal international is an organization that is highly important. We are an organization with the strongest history back in time. And what makes us really unique on the international political scene is that uh, since 1947 we have not changed our positions. We have been functioning for 62 years now on the basis of the same Oxford Manifesto that was adopted by only 12 parties in 1947 in, in their meeting in the United Kingdom. Only 12 parties who expressed that they believe in freedom, unlimited freedom of individual. They believe in human rights, they believe in democracy, they believe in dignity of women and men. They believe in free opportunities, equal opportunities for every citizen. They believe in exchange and they believe in cooperation and they believe in dialogue. For 62 years we have been promoting as liberal international throughout the world the same principles and the same ideals. This makes liberal international much stronger and incomparable with the other political international, in particular the socialist international, which tends to change its position quite often, and with the conservative families as well as the communist families of, of parties. But Liberal International, even though it was started in 1947 by only 12 <coughs> parties who were represented, mainly from Europe and from North America, uh, it is not a political club. We indeed do exist in order to promote and to further liberalism around the world. We look at ourselves together with our partners as protectors and defenders of liberal philosophy, liberal ideology and liberal mindset. However, we are not an exclusive political club. We are not an organization, a normal organization of individuals. We are a federation of parties. And if in 1947 it was only 12 parties who were building up the federation, today we are proud to say that 106 parties from all continents around the world 
are members of Liberal International. Except in the, in the Oceanian region in Australia, we are represented throughout the world. And we are very glad and very happy that since <coughs> last year, among our youngest members is the Democratic Front Party from Egypt, and we have been delighted to receive an application for membership in Liberal International by the El Ghar Party. So not only that we are being strengthening our position throughout the world, we have strengthened our position in the region of North Africa and the Middle East in the past couple of years. And in this line, not out of courtesy, but out of true gratitude, I would like to express our appreciation to our partners, the Friedrich Naumann Foundation, and in particular Dr. Marnadus, who are giving their heart in order to make sure that this cooperation in this region works. Why is Liberal International important organization? Why is liberal networking meaningful for the liberal politicians worldwide? Why is it so that uh, my Facebook status changes so much that not even my friends can track me anymore? Where am I and what am I doing? It is because we got to understand throughout the years that the liberal politicians throughout the world share the same principles and same values. Indeed, the situation in every country is different and thus the interpretation of the political agenda will vary from a country to country. But when it comes to the essence, when it comes to the fundamentals of how the policy is being created, there is no diversity. There is a strong unity. And you can imagine, you're going to have the privilege actually in Cairo to be present at the Congress of Liberal International, which happens once in 18 months. In October, we are going to be very proud to be here among you in Cairo to host the hundred and uh, not the hundred, the the new uh, 2009 Congress of Liberal International. However, you not only that you're going to be witness over there, uh, we're going to witness the political dynamism. You're going to be able to meet leaders from all around the world who are going to share their views and their opinions about same subject. The theme of the Congress that Liberal International has chosen for this year together with our partners, will be education. 